25 identified camps. Since 2017, at least 1 million Uyghurs have been detained. The Uyghur people are an ethnic minority that reside in East Turkestan, which is now known as Xinjiang, under the Chinese Communist Party. We will keep standing up and speaking out until China's government stops its crimes against humanity and the genocide of Uyghurs and other minorities in Xinjiang, said Linda Thomas Greenfield, an ambassador to the UN. Genocide. What is genocide? The term genocide was coined by Raphael Lemkin in 1944. There isn't a universally agreed definition of genocide, but in 1948, the United Genocide Conventions defined genocide as any of the following acts committed with the intent to destroy, in whole or in part, a national, ethnic, racial or religious group. As such, killing members of the group, causing serious bodily or mental harm to members of the group, deliberately inflicting on the group's conditions of life, calculated to bring about its physical destruction in whole or in part imposing measures intended to prevent births within the group, forcibly transferring children of the group to another group. So, who are the Uyghur people? And is China committing one of the greatest acts against humanity, genocide? There are currently around 11 million Uyghurs that reside in East Turkestan. East Turkestan has rich mineral and oil supplies and is China's largest producer of natural gas. It is also a key part of the country's Belt and Road Initiative, which will increase trade and boost economic growth. This evidently shows the importance of East Turkestan and its people to China. The majority of Uyghurs are Muslims and have their own culture. Their religion and culture is what is targeted by the Chinese Communist Party. In 2017, the Xinjiang government passed a law prohibiting men from growing long beards and women from wearing veils. This is a clear prohibition to attack articles of faith. Also, many mosques have been demolished. This in itself would be enough to create a social movement, although sadly, it doesn't end there. 85 camps have been identified using satellite imagery, with 39 being analysed. All the built-up parts cover an area roughly the size of 140 football pitches. These camps have been growing, but what's their purpose? Initially, China denied the camp's existence. Once more photos of the camps with barbed wire fences and watchtowers were spread, the government stated the camps were re-education centers for Uyghurs to combat terrorism and religious extremism. But does the testimony of those who have been in the camps coincide with what the Chinese government states? Well, detainees have said that they were interrogated and beaten because of their religion. Research suggests that Uyghur women are being forced to be sterilized, with again detainees' testimony coinciding with such reports. China has responded, saying it is baseless. The BBC did an investigation in 2019 which suggested that children in Xinjiang were being systematically separated from their families, ultimately separating them from their cultural and religious identity. Additionally, Amnesty International reports that tiger chairs are used on detainees during interrogations. Tiger chairs are still chairs with iron legs and handcuffs that restrain the body in painful positions. There are also reports of forced human labour. Uyghur workers have allegedly been forcibly employed in low-skilled, labour-intensive industries such as agribusiness, textile and garment, automotive and technological sectors said Dante Pesce, chairperson of the working group. This has caused many companies to respond who may be directly or indirectly connected to the forced labour of Uyghurs. Big brands may be connected, such as Nike, Adidas, Samsung, Gap, Puma and Amazon. Amazon released a statement saying, Amazon recognises that the United States government, through several trade-related actions, has recently identified a number of entities as possibly being engaged in the use of forced labour related to ethnic minorities from Xinjiang. Amazon is actively investigating its supply chain and has not identified direct sourcing links with any of those entities. Now, you may be wondering why. Why is the Chinese government doing this? 
Well, as previously stated, they put up the front that Uyghurs have extremist views, therefore the re-education camps are needed. An example of Uyghur extremism can be found in 2014 in the city of Kunming in China's southwest where a mass stabbing took place, killing 31 people. The area where Uyghurs reside, as again previously stated, is economically beneficial. If the Uyghurs want independence, then China misses out on such an economic gain. So possibly all of this is a way of removing Uyghurs' cultural independence, making them more fit in line with what the Chinese government wants of them. Conclusively, some try and make the plight of the Uyghurs just a mere conspiracy. Many say it's a Western agenda to spread lies about China. I would like to believe all these horrible acts are just a conspiracy, and none of it's real. However, with the testimony of those who have been in the camps and with the satellite imagery, they are all things too hard to ignore. After hearing all this information, and learning about the definition of genocide, do you believe this is a genocide? If you do, the best way to help is to share. Share the information of what is happening. Share this video. This will go in the history books. So if you do believe this is a genocide, then try not to be remembered as those who stood idly by and did nothing.